the chords we're going to need for this song are C, G, A minor, E minor, and F. If you're not very quick with your chord changes yet, start with my beginner course, then come back to this tutorial. Otherwise, let's get into it. So this might actually end up being the quickest five minute guitar lesson ever because there's actually only one part to learn for this entire song, and it's not that hard to play. Let's start on a C and check out the strumming pattern. It's gonna sound like this. So slow down, that's down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down down, down, up. Once you can do that, you can add in your chords. The only one tricky part is in the down, up. You wanna play the down slightly longer than the up to give the song more of a bouncy feel. So instead of this, you do more like this. And your chords for this song are gonna be C, G, A minor, E minor and then F, C, F, G. And we're switching chords halfway through each strumming pattern for the entire thing. It's really simple once you've tried it out one or two times, so let's try out the whole thing all together. So have you noticed that last down is just ever so slightly longer than the up? And if you can play that part, you can play the entire song. You can use that for the verse, chorus, rap, and instrumental. No need to make things more complicated than they are, right? This one should be really fun to play and take you no time at all to master. And that's really all there is to it. 